Welcome to this video tutorial on how to create callouts. A callout is a great way to display text and images that would not normally fit on the page and have these function as a pop-up. A callout can be simple or customized depending on how you set up your content. The first thing you would need to do is create your overlay or hotspot. This is where the readers will activate the callout. Click on draw callout and drag the area of where you would like the callout to display and then click Finish Drawing. Select your callout type. Padding and scroll will create a margin in between your content and the border. This will also ensure that when viewing on a smaller screen you can scroll through larger amounts of content. No padding and no scroll is a better option for images as this uses less space from having no margin. The measurements are for the size of the callout pop-up. These were filled out automatically after drawing your callout. However, this can be manually changed at any time and is measured by the percentage of the page. The most important part of creating a callout is the content. This will be what the reader sees in the pop-up box. HTML is encouraged to style your content. However, you are also able to use plain text for descriptions and tags. Hotspot style and callout class name can only be modified if you have access to viewer config. Find out more information in our knowledge base. There are three different types of animations for how your callout will appear and disappear. The callout can expand, fade, or have no effects when opening and closing the callout. Now you will need to select how the hotspot will be activated. If you choose click, the reader will need to click on the hotspot before activation, like this example here. Mouse over will have the callout appear after the reader hovers over the hotspot area, like in this example here. Please note that launch and close callout on should match. You are able to track how many people have activated your callout through Google Analytics by entering a title into the logging identifier to keep a reference in Google Analytics for statistics, for example, the title of the contents. Remember to save, publish, and preview before reviewing the callout within your online publication.